bahaya. Saya nggak mau terlalu dalam. Tolong baca. Uh, trust no one. Uh, ini dijelasin data-data ini lebih lengkap. Dan ini semua data bisa konfirmasi. Bukan omong-omong dari saya sendiri. Ini ada data harus ada untuk konfirmasi. Insya Allah semua teman-teman dikonfirmasi. Lihat ini kita kembali hidup lebih sehat. Satu, jangan makan masakan apa-apa-apa dari Amerika, McDonald, KFC. Ada website di YouTube. www. Ini bahasa Inggris ya. www.kfc. Kentucky Fried Chicken, KFC. www.kfc. Cruelty. Cruelty. Charlie, Romeo, Echo, Ultra, Lima, Tango, Yankee. Cruelty.com. Buka itu. Nah, lihat KFC. Ada tulis halal. Bukan halal atau tidak. Haram. Lihat video itu dari Pamela Anderson dari Amerika. Lihat dia melempar. I am KFC. Injek, injek KFC. Main bola sama injek uh, I am KFC. Hidup di dalam ruangan ini puluhan-puluhan ribu ayam. Dia hidup di atas kotoran tinggi begini. Tidak ada oksigen, banyak gas, amonia, matahari tidak masuk. Di bir dia dipotong dari awal dia lahir, suntik sama hormon, suntik sama vaksin, suntik sama antibiotik, kasih dia makanan GMO diberubahin genetik dia juga diberubahin genetik kita lihat di KFC, sering da- saya sering lewatin KFC banyak amir orang gemuk makan di situ. Ini di makanan ini bukan alami lagi, aneh itu. 40% kurang lebih ayam KFC waktu mau ambil bulu dia harus di direndam sama air panas dulu saya dulu petani saya pernah di, dibunuh banyak amet uh, ayam dibunuh dulu rendam sama air panas baru buka bulu bukan 40% masih hidup waktu rendam itu dari HAM International untuk bintang tidak boleh dalam Islam udah masuk haram itu Hello, I'm Pam Anderson with PETA. You probably have heard of the Colonel's secret recipe, but you probably have no idea what goes into making a bucket of KFC chicken. Sadly, the main ingredient is cruelty. The more than 750 million chickens raised each year for KFC are treated like meat machines, not animals. They are crammed by the tens of thousands into sheds. Their throats burn as they try to breathe air filled with ammonia fumes from accumulated waste. They routinely suffer broken bones from being bred to be top-heavy from rough handling and from being shackled upside down at the slaughterhouse. Many chickens are still conscious as their throats are cut or when they are dumped into tanks of scalding hot water for feather removal. When they're killed, chickens are still babies, not yet two months old, out of a natural lifespan of 10 to 15 years. These chickens never feel the sun on their backs or the earth beneath their feet. PETA has asked KFC to make simple changes in the way that it treats its chickens, yet KFC refuses to do even the bare minimum to spare the birds the most needless suffering. Despite KFC claims, parent birds on supplier farms have their beaks chopped off soon after they're hatched. This horribly painful procedure can make eating excruciating for weeks, and the shock of it sometimes kills the birds. Cutting a beak off is not like trimming your nails. It's like having the tips of your fingers chopped off. The pain goes on for weeks and can even result in slow starvation. KFC's chickens are crammed by the tens of thousands into feces-laden sheds. The communities that they establish in nature are far, far smaller, but here in the sheds they are so large that the birds cannot establish a pecking order. This leads to a high level of stress. In fact, all their natural desires are completely frustrated in this crowded yet barren environment. Because broiler chickens are bred and drugged in order to grow at an unnatural fast pace, the birds become so fat so quickly that their bodies cannot keep up. Their hearts, lungs, and other organs find it difficult to support their massive size and can fail. Their weak legs cannot support their heavy chests, resulting in lameness. Catching the birds for transport to slaughter is extremely harmful to them when done by poorly paid and poorly trained workers. The catchers gather four or five birds at a time and violently hurl them into crates, often breaking their bones and bruising them. 
When KSC chickens arrive at the slaughterhouse, they are dumped out of the transport crates and their weak, bruised, or broken legs are snapped into metal shackles. The birds are then run through an electric stun bath. The company will often set the voltage in the stun bath so low that the birds are not rendered insensible to pain and instead often suffer painful shocks before they are stunned. The birds then have their throats slit. Finally, they are dumped into a tank of scalding water for feather removal. Some birds are still alive and conscious through the entire frightening and painful procedure.